Okay, this video is the third in a series. Hopefully there's an annotation on the screen that will bring you to the full playlist. There's also a link in the description to notes on everything that we're doing. So just to review, I've deleted the folder that we were working on just to start from scratch because we've made lots of change to the code. But these are a few things you want to have GCC installed as well as these things. And if you go to compile it and it says you're missing a library, search your repositories for that library and install it. But uh, on my system, these are all I had to install. That doesn't mean that I didn't already have libraries installed from another project that it needed. Also, you'll, you'll need a WAD file, the shareware WAD file. Whoops. The shareware WAD file is in the repositories for Debian and Debian-based systems. And PR Boom doesn't hurt to install the game from the repositories. Make sure it works first before you start going with the code. So once you have those things installed, uh, next you'll want to download the source code. It's on SourceForge. Again, this is in the link in the description to the notes. We'll untar that. We'll move into the PR Boom folder. Uh, next, we'll do configure. And it will configure it for my system. And we will also type in make. And the initial make takes a little longer than all the makes after that because it has a lot more to make. So today, once this is done uh, making our initial make, we're gonna go in and we're gonna take, we're gonna make a rapid fire shotgun. And so basically, we're gonna make the shotgun shoot as fast as the, um, basically the Gatlin gun, the, the machine gun. So, so it'll be that fast, but with a spray of bullets instead of a single bullet each time. Uh, and the way we're gonna do this is by modifying the animation frames that it uses. So let's go ahead and I'm going to clear the screen here. Again, I'm using Vim as my text editor. Use whatever text editor you prefer. Uh, just make sure it's not a word editor um, or word processor. You want it to be a text editor. Um, I'm using Vim. I'm jumping straight to line uh, 129 of this file in our source folder called info.c because that's where we need to be. And right here, this is this is all the animations for all our different weapons. So you can see right here, we start with our shotgun. There's a little bit of a notes here. It's, you know, the shotgun, the shotgun moving up, the shotgun moving down. Um, so what we want to do is modify some of these numbers so that it skips frames. So here we want to go to this line right here. And we're gonna change this. So the these this column right here that um, my cursor's on, that's the delay, how long each of those uh, frames are up on the screen for. So if we change those for most of these, we're gonna say, one, one. So higher the number, the slower the animation. So I've changed them all to that. So now I can do that. I can say make. I can go and run PR boom, which would have been faster to type at this point. There we go. And I'm going to type in a cheat code IDKFA to get all my weapons. I'm going to bring up the shotgun. Oh, that's the double barrel. I want the single barrel. And look how fast I'm shooting now. It's not quite as fast as a chain gun, but you can see it's quite a bit faster. So let's go ahead and modify it a little bit more. So let's go back into our source code here. And we're going to change a few more things. We're going to come down here to... Um, let me check my notes because I don't have all of this memorized. Uh, but we want to change most of these. Yes. Oops. Undo that. We're going to change this to zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero. Let's go ahead and make that. If I did that properly and run that, IDKFA three, 
three. There we go. So we set those animation for all those frames to zero. So basically, it's just skipping over all the frames of it, you know, basically cocking the gun. So that is uh, modifying the shotgun into a rapid fire shotgun. Now, you might say, well, I'm going to run out of ammo really fast. I mean, I have max ammo right now because. I did the ID, uh, IDKFA cheat, but you're still going to run out of ammo pretty fast, so why don't we modify the code and change how much ammo we have, or that we can get as well. So now I'm going to use vim plus 84 to jump to line 84 of the file inside our source folder called p int uh, inter c, and right here we have our max ammo clips and how much the ammo clips are worth. So um, I have to remember, I want to say, I have to remember the order of our ammo here. But really, why don't we just set them all to 900, 900. So one of these in this little array here, it's in probably in this order, this is probably your bullets for your pistol and your machine gun. I'm going to guess this is probably shotgun shells, rockets, and plasma. Um, and so let's go ahead and just save that, make that, run that, go into the game, and now if I type in IDKFA, you can see my ammo is 900, 900, uh, 998. And so now if I go to my shotgun here, I'm good because I've got plenty of ammo. I never have to let off the trigger. So if you're going to increase the rate of your weapon, you might want to increase the rate of your ammo or the amount of your ammo. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I love this game. I'm just getting sidetracked by the game. Um, so now that we have created uh, our own shotgun here, why don't we uh, create some landmines? So let's go ahead and I'm going to use Vim and I'm going to jump to this line 2129 inside info.c. Uh, info and here Again, inside this file is where all our items are are labeled, uh, are defined. And here you can see that rockets are defined. So these are all the settings for rockets. And as you can see right here, this is speed. Now, it's doing a math here, frac unit, uh, which is defined somewhere else. But basically, if we set this number really low, the item, the rocket, will move very slow. Now, you might think, oh, I'll set that to zero, and that will keep it in one place, but I've noticed, well, let's just do that. Let's set it to zero. So we're multiplying zero times wherever the frac unit is. Let's go make, and let's run doom, IDKFA, five for rocket. Look, so I'm placing these rockets, but you notice they're not exploding because I guess, and I haven't looked at the code exactly for this, but rockets uh, have to have some sort of movement for them or they won't explode. So what we can do here is go back into our source code here. Instead of zero, we can set it to 0.1. Uh, you could probably go even slower if you wanted. So now that we've done that, we've compiled it, we can go into the game, type in my cheat code to get all my weapons, bring up the rocket, and I can shoot that right there. So I can set basically little landmines so I can make up a little barricade. So they are moving, as you can see, extremely slow. So it's kind of like placing landmines. Luckily, I don't think your rockets hurt yourself unless someone else blows them up. They won't blow up when you touch them. So I can place a whole lot there and just wait for him to come and boom. So I can go. Uh, let's see, let's go in here and 
drop that down, drop that down, and I'm going to just say, come and get me, guys, if they don't kill each other first. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you kind of can make landmines. Very, they, will, they are moving, but they're basically landmines. And again, I did point zero. You might be able to do a lower number, maybe point zero, zero. I'm sorry, I did point one. You could probably do point zero, zero, one, and they might even move slower. I haven't really tried that. I thought this was slow enough. So that's how you can make landmines uh, using your rocket launcher in Doom by editing the source code to change their speed. So, um, yeah, and you can probably do the same thing with a plasma rifle or a BFG, although BFG would be kind of weird, um, but you could do it. Um, on the other note, let's go back into our source code here. And uh, so 20 was what it was before. Let's set it to 50. I haven't tried this. So <laughs> let's see what happens. It's always fun just to change the, the numeric values of variables and see what happens, IDKFA. Now, so yeah, it's probably flying a little bit faster. Let's make it a bigger number. Let's set it to 100, so it should be twice that speed. We'll make that, and we'll run that. IDKFA, IDKFA. Yeah, I think it's moving faster. So, uh, let's just have fun. Let's set it really high. This could this could end badly. <laughs> Luckily, it's not a real rocket launcher. So make that, run that. FA. Again, I don't know what that frac number is. It's oh, it's moving so fast now. I don't even see it. It's moving so fast that it's not even detecting when it's hitting some. Well, it hit that guy back there. But it's moving so fast, it's, it's probably jumping such a distance with each frame that it's passing by people. So, yeah, the only reason I hit that guy is because I hit that wall there. So it's going so fast now, I can't even see it. So, I don't know, you can create a game and say, oh yeah, this is a, a weapon, you have a magical weapon that you can make things explode off in the distance or something. So, yeah, changing numbers like that. So that's another option for customizing weapons. So I'm going to stop there for this tutorial. I hope that you're enjoying this series on modifying uh, the source code of Doom, but hopefully it encourages you to look at the source code uh, for other projects. Uh, again, it's fun. Uh, if you ever just want to, especially games, go in. If you find where variables are set, changing the value of these variables can, um, can have fun effects. Um, again, uh, the speed of pretty much everything in the game is defined by, the, by those frac units. So if you go and change the value of that, you're going to change the value of the speed of everything in the game, which can be um, interesting. <laughs> so, as always, I thank you for watching. Uh, please check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. There's also a link in the description to my notes on this project. So you can click on that. You can see everything we did today, uh, as well as the previous weeks. And there's a few other notes in there. So go ahead, check that out. Have fun. I hope that you're enjoying this series. And I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. 
Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.